Hi, this is Mark from Epica, and I hope you're all gonna listen to our new album. And uh, if you like it, that you even gonna buy it or some merchandise, because now that we cannot play shows, it's even more important for us that people uh, that like the album gonna actually buy it. So I'm really thankful for everybody who will. And if you can't, for whatever reason, uh, I'm not mad at you. <laughs> so uh, just enjoy the album, and uh, uh, that's most important that people enjoy the album after all. Mark, um, well, Floor just turned 40. Did she send her some flowers? Yeah, yeah, she's just, just turned 40. Yeah, that's 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 right. Uh, uh, I saw it one day too late, so I was a little bit embarrassed to send her congratulations one day too late. But um, yeah, I should, I should still send her something. <laughs> <laughs> well, in a couple of years, you turn 50. Have you plans already where and how to celebrate? 50? I'm not even thinking about it yet. I'm just 42. So <laughs> don't get me started about 50. I, I don't even feel 40 yet. I still feel like I'm in my 30s somewhere or something like 33, 34. <laughs> All right. So no, no, no plans made yet. <laughs> No, 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 not at all. I live uh, day by day, uh, so I'm, I'm not thinking about even my my upcoming birthday, which is uh, uh, still far from now in December. So I'm I literally living day by day. Well, let's come to this Omega. This is not about the apocalyptic uh, vibe that's going on. You know, this record is about you know, it's it's a, a positive, motivating thing, right? Yes, yes. I always, we always think like, and especially on this album, to uh, despite uh, some things what are going on and describe it in a way, but always give some tools uh, to to give a positive turn to events. And I, I truly believe, and also in, in daily life, what is happening around us in the world today. That we can turn this around into something positive and and be, uh, uh, become um, uh, yeah we st that we can start living in a, in a in a better world so to say because we were we were so we were on a dead end road uh, because things were not going well so maybe this this pandemic which is in fact a very chaotic time and and, and many people losing their jobs and stuff is really shitty but maybe it, it, it can, we can turn it around into something positive and that we truly can make a big step forward and, and, and make a big step forward also with our consciousness and how we live with each other, with the earth, with the, with the nature, that we more find our balance back again. Since you live in the Netherlands to Sicily and all of that, um, you had to embrace new technologies. You, you had to live with the new situation to even get this record done yeah yeah the thing was uh, when we were recording it uh, in the beginning i could still travel uh, that was before the pandemic was severe but then at a certain point we were on lockdown i was back at home in, in sicily and i couldn't travel to the studio anymore so uh, i was literally two and a half months in, in lockdown i couldn't leave my home just for for groceries um, and uh, so at that time I had to record my vocals. Luckily, I had a, a home studio finished, so I could record all my vocals in my home studio. And uh, Simone, she had not a strict lockdown in Germany. She could still uh, go to a, a local studio and record her vocals there. So we were within the, 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 the bad circumstances. We were still very fortunate, actually. So I'm happy that we could uh, finish the album in the best possible way. Uh, talking about Sicily, uh, aren't you worried with all the climate change and stuff, you know, and, and with the sea level rising to live on an island? <laughs> yeah, but I live uh, four, 450 meters above sea level. Oh. So the sea would have to get really high <laughs> in order to wash my house away. So uh, I, I think if, if the sea level rises and, and everybody in the Netherlands is drawn already, I'm still on my hill uh, dry with dry feet. <laughs> this record has so many artists on it. 
you you have this uh, this orchestra, of course, children's choir. Uh, do you know every artist who's on that record? No, by far not, uh, because I I never met any of the choir people. I I never met met the, the child, children choir, and I didn't meet even the the or orchestral people. So uh, because the the orchestra recordings were attended by Kuhn Janset, our producer, and Rob, and uh, the choir sessions also by Kuhn because he's the 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 big guy of arranging the the choirs, and um, so I didn't meet any of these guys. So uh, there's a uh, many people on this album that I've never seen in my life. <laughs> <laughs> well, but you have done things like that, and then you have met, of course, uh, orchestras, and you have talked with musicians. How different is it working when you've never met the guy who I don't know does the brass section and all that? Oh, for me, it's not difficult at all because uh, as long as he plays it with passion, I'm I'm happy. Uh, and when you work with an orchestra and, and you you write music and then you hear it coming back, what they recorded, it's a magic moment. Uh, it's even better if I would have been there and hearing it live. But uh, that was already in the time that the pandemic started taking happening, and I was not so sure about traveling, so I stayed uh, home. And um, that was actually a good decision because at a certain point I would have not be, been allowed to travel to Sicily anymore. So the, the guys could still go to the Netherlands, but I would have had to stay in the Netherlands for, for two and a half months instead of being able to go home. So to come back to your question, um, uh, it's, it's great when people play your music, but when they do it with passion, it doesn't matter who plays it as long as it's with passion. Do you think this this whole pandemic to see the really positive things also happening? Uh, do you see that in the future that now it's it's easier for people to do music together, no matter where they come from? Yeah, of course, it, it will eventually also have uh, positive sides, and it already has positive sides. Um, But um, uh, we are still seeing how, how to uh, work now, for example, with another project that I have, United Metal Minds, how to make it work the best way possible by the internet, and uh, because we cannot see anybody. But it's, it's, uh, it's a good thing that we can make things very easily work by the internet. Also, before the pandemic, we were doing already many things by the internet. So it's, it's just bringing it to the next level. And uh, I think that we as humanity will learn many things from this, uh, from this pandemic, also about the restrictions that we, are, we have uh, yeah, experienced, because with that you know how, how beautiful it is to have freedom, and when it's not there, you know how much you miss it. So freedom is very a beautiful thing that we should cherish and not take for granted. Do you think um we can evolve as, as, as mankind um, with more decency, put it that way. Yes, I think so. I think we have no other choice, actually, because uh, like I said before, we, we were on a dead end road. It was not going well. You, you see that this climate is changing, changing very rapidly. Um, you never know. Uh, some scientists say like this, if we go on like this, we have 20 years. Others say we have 100 years. You don't know who to believe, but we need to change it. It's, there's no uh, no choice. I think we really have to, and uh, and I think we will, uh, because I'm a positive guy. I always think like we, we will make it, and I truly believe that because I think if you don't even believe this, then it doesn't make sense to even <laughs> be around here anymore because we 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 have to take this challenge and make this happen. Looking at the world right now, you know, it, it freaks a lot of people out. And of course, every conspiracy theory works good. Um, but on the other hand, um, for the better, luckier, a lot of those conspiracy theories, um, they, they have some scientific basics, you know, like people are thinking about the matrix. You yeah. know, we're all in a matrix because this is so freaky. You know, it has to be, you know, whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, it's, it's, it's crazy times, but crazy times also bring uh, crazy things to the surface. So uh, uh, I always say like, um, if, when people believe in all, all the conspiracy theories out there, you, you, go, you go crazy. Yeah. But there are some conspiracy theories that are actually true. And so it's it, it, it's uh, you always have to find the middle way because if uh, if you say that of, about every conspiracy theory that is that is that is nonsense, it's it's as as much bullshit as, as if you say that all the conspiracy theories are true, because sometimes yeah like I said some conspiracy theories after a while appear to be true, but you at, at certain points you don't know yet which ones are true and which ones not. But I love to 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 read about conspiracy theories because. For me, it's the more crazy it gets. I really love it. This kind of stuff, <laughs> because also when I watch a movie like The Truman Show or The Matrix, I love these kind of movies as well because they are they trigger the mind, and uh, and I, I love when you when you uh, trigger your mind when you challenge your mind and 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 see beyond the veil, and and so, so sometimes I know about certain conspiracy theories being true before they actually uh, appear to be true. Uh, so sometimes uh, you have one step ahead of most people, and that's the good thing. But the the the, the danger is that you get that you get crazy about uh, all these theories out there. So you have to fi- keep yourself with a balance in there. Let's say we all live in a matrix, and the guy or the lady who created it is in it. In what matrix? Oh, in whose matrix would you want to live? So if just one person is the real person who is who has created the matrix, then uh, I hope that it's me. <laughs> <laughs> I am the architect. I created the matrix. Not because I, I want to be God, but then at least I know that uh, what I experience has some degree of truth. <laughs> you already know what I'm going to tell you. I'm not the one. Sorry, kid. But yeah, my, my mind goes also wild about such theories that, uh, that for example, that's also why I wrote uh, the Holographic Principle album that, that's dealing about us living in a, in a, yeah, in a hologram. And um, if it's true, uh, and, and I, then we know it for sure in about 10, 20 years, I think, because then the, 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 the development of, of techno- technologies will be so advanced that uh, that we put on an, an uh, a mask and then be in, in a virtual reality that is as real as this reality and if a, a virtual reality is, is as real as this reality we real reality might be a virtual reality on its own remember uh, around the year of 2000 when they came up with second life and all that yeah, you know, and now it's really happening. I remember back then people were freaking because they couldn't get out of it. Yeah, and and that was still like you, you, yeah the, the first steps, and it's it's clear that that's a, uh, a fake world. But if in the in the, in the next ten years you you have a second life which is c- completely the same as this this life, but then in a completely different universe, then how how deep can you go down the rabbit hole? Then you go. You can go from that virtual reality into a deeper virtual reality, and then you you can get lost. <laughs> Gee, we, and then we need... maybe in this one, maybe we are also quite deep already in in a virtual reality world without us realizing it. I'd see it more as some holographic suite on DS9 or something, you know, yeah. going yeah. into quarks. And, and it's like not that big, but you can go to the supermarket and you can go to, I don't know, meet the neighbor or something. Yeah, 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 these, these things for sure, because they are working now on the quantum computers with quantum internet. So it's a matter of time before whole universes can be created. And, and that, uh, some people are a bit afraid of that because, yeah, when you can create whole universes, what can that be? But I'm actually excited about it because yeah, humanity when it gets so advanced that that uh, that yeah technology is is so 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 immensely advanced that either we're gonna destroy ourselves or we're gonna make a huge leap forward in consciousness. And I I see this challenge as making that huge leap forward of consciousness. Mm-hmm. I don't think we're gonna destroy ourselves. I think that is something really exciting coming up. 
you mentioned the quantum computer. Um, well, most people have no clue what that is. How would you explain it as the difference from a desktop computer to what a quantum computer really is? Yeah, so the, the, the traditional computer is uh, calculating with uh, zeros and ones and make sequences. So in order to calculate uh, things, it needs time. And especially the more complex the, the calculations are, it takes longer time. But these quantum computers, they can do these calculations in a, in, in a split second. All these calculations, so, so the, 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 the quantum computing will be so much more powerful. It's like a difference between living on planet Earth or suddenly being able to live in the whole universe in, in the same time. It, it, it's a huge difference. And now the quantum computing is still in its, in its early steps. So you re remember when the, back in the days that the first computers came up. And nowadays we, we have computers, our, our laptops are already more, yeah, has, have more computing power uh, than, uh, than back then the, the Pentagon uh, had. <laughs> and uh, so now the quantum computing is the same. They are in the early stages. But in the next couple of years, this will really become big. Will there be, let's say, a 2050 moon base or something? <laughs> yeah, if it's up to uh, Elon Musk, then, uh, <laughs> then we go to Mars. <laughs> and uh, I know that he's uh, taking these things very serious. So uh, he's coming up with crazy ideas at sometimes, but... Uh, he, at least he's he's realizing many of these ideas. So I, when he says something like that, I, I believe he really has the intention to to do that. And, and uh, uh, a Mars base where where some people already uh, are living there, and uh, maybe the first uh, batch of people that that make the the, the travel are not coming back, uh, or they they don't make it. <laughs> Who knows? But I think at a certain point, this, they find the, the right way to do it. And then a huge amount of people will, will go there. So if Elon Musk calls you saying, let's say, hey, Mark, uh, how about an Epica concert in 28 uh, on Moonbase <laughs> or <laughs> at least in orbit or something? Yeah, and I say, Elon, let's make this happen, man. <laughs> and. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm up for exciting things, but I, I'll, as long as I can come back to Earth. But I don't want to stay uh, on the moon or Mars. Uh, that's yeah. not uh, my, my cup of tea. Yeah. I, I love the food here, and I know that the first many years on Mars, they're going to eat this, this astronaut food. Uh, that's not uh, that, what I want. <laughs> <laughs> well, so to wrap this up, you, you really see uh, that there are enough smart people on the planet to make this leap happening. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. That uh, I, I think there's a huge amount of smart people and uh, there's also a huge amount of stupid people, I must uh, say. <laughs> As but I, I, yeah, <laughs> but it's up to the, the smart people who have good intentions to, to take everybody by the hand. And um, uh, because Every period of time has a lot of uh, opportunities, but also there's there's always some group of people who tr try to take advantage of the situation. So we have to make sure that, that the, the ones who want to take advantage, that they won't succeed because the, the planet is from all of us and uh, we have to, we are in here together and we have to do it together and, and make this, this work together. And, and um, so I'm, I always see the op opportunities, but I also always see the the, the dangers um, but yeah that being said uh, I'm I'm very optimistic for the future and I'm sure we, we're gonna get out of here of, of this uh, current chaos one last thing I was wondering <laughs> is there something that style to eat that you miss on Sicily yes there is uh, but uh, we we also make it ourselves here sometimes because that's uh, the kind of carrot with potatoes and onion stuff and as you mix it like crazy we call it hot spot in the netherlands and um, 
it's so delicious and uh, but sometimes we we, we 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 make it ourselves here and then it's great too but not so often and um, and there's also this this kind of uh, what they call in in, in german sauerkraut oh yeah uh, that also i miss because i almost never eat that here but i love that stuff so <laughs> so the germans love it but the dutch people love it too <laughs> First of all, I have to say that I'm now hungry. So you make me hungry and I still have two, two more interviews to, to do. Uh, so thank you for that. <laughs> Mulatcha!